Hello, I'm Fredrik Schessmoor from uh, Oslo Myeloma Center and the Nordic Myeloma Study Group. So I'm here at uh, Rio and today I will participate in a symposium um, uh, arranged by BMS where you're going to discuss, I'm going to discuss uh, what the current standard of care is in post-transplant uh, setting. So this is a bit complicated. Um, you have consolidation, you have maintenance, you have new ways of approaching this. Um, today the standard is I would say in most places, consolidation after transplant. Consolidation is when you give sort of more cycles of the same drug as, as uh, was used in the same drug regimens that was used in the induction. Uh, consolidation by itself has actually never been proven to give any survival benefit. But still, it, it, it gives PFS benefit, it increases the response rates, and it's common, I would say. So in almost all trials uh, performed recently and being performed now, Consolidation, more treatment cycles after transplant is the common way to do it. There's also another way of doing it. So one German trial uh, coming close to maturation soon, instead of having uh, consolidation afterwards, which is usually two, so two more cycles, they put all in front. So they give six cycles in front of transplant. I don't think, think it really matters. I think the total amount of treatment matters. So you get all these cycles. Then you have uh, a BMS trial called Karma 9, which is trying to give either cell as consolidation in a randomized trial. This was only for patients not responding very well. Actually, I learned this morning, uh, it's now open, uh, that this study is, has closed down. And the reason for this is actually quite good news for patients because uh, they are struggling to find enough patients with a bad response after transplant and consolidation. So, uh, that, that study is now terminated. So now it's still the standard of consolidation and then there's maintenance. Maintenance is also complicated. Uh, as uh, many of you know, um, lenalidomide maintenance is the standard and has been that for, for some years, both in Europe and, and, and US and, and elsewhere. Um, there's still a big discussion about duration of treatment. The American trial determination compared to the, to the European trial, IFM 2009, which had Le uh, uh, maintenance until progression versus uh, maintenance just for a fixed period shows a much longer progression-free survival with until progression. There are some English data suggesting maybe that after five years you can maybe stop without losing benefit, but that's not very clear. So I would say it's still uh, land maintenance is the standard. Um, and then there's DARA, DARA tumor maintenance, which has been an issue lately. You have the Perseus data showing be benefit of adding DAR in induction, consolidation, and in maintenance. So uh, this, this fall, uh, FDA has chosen not to approve DARA maintenance in addition to LEN, while Europe last week uh, approved DARA maintenance. So in, in Europe now, DARA LEN is the standard, but not in the US as of now. Uh, we also have seen recently this spring that in, in Cassiopeia study that DARA tumab alone as uh, maintenance also give a better progression-free survival compared to no maintenance. So uh, more and more, we also see that in the newest, newest studies, DARA LEN is the scientific standard, but as of today, not approved in US actually. It usually is the other way around, but that's the situation now. So that's the situation now. I think the next steps will be uh, based on several trials being performed today, and that is maintenance, uh, usually for a fixed duration with the bispecific antibodies. So they are challenging land now in a pure maintenance randomized setting. And um, hopefully, expectedly, at some time, they will prove that bispecifics is better than land alone. And how to compare that to DARA land is, of course, very difficult. Uh, we will not, uh, but we will just have to sort of compare data when we have them. Um, the, the, and the only other thing about this maintenance with bispecific is that LEN is not always tolerated, but it's not sort of, it doesn't give many dangerous problems. But by specifics, you can have more infections. It depends a bit on the, the type. I'm not going to go into details about that. But I think this, uh, this data that will come in a couple of years will tell us uh, how the future will look like. But for now, consolidation is standard after transplant. Uh, maintenance is standard. LEN is standard. DARA is sort of a standard, but not everywhere. And uh, in the future, maybe by specifics, we'll add to this.